Hi, this is Pad Love with Pad's Two Cents. It is a beautiful day outside, and everything looks copacetic. But what if there's an undercurrent? What if there's something brewing in these last days that we don't know is coming? When everything looks fine, when everybody's saying peace and safety, sudden destruction. Well, listen. There are times when God knows those times are coming. God knows when that season is approaching. And many of you who think you're going through a trial, who think you're in a crisis, in an emergency situation, might be dead set in the center of God's will. Now, God will move you one or two ways. Let's look at Abraham. God told Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, Leave your father, leave your family, leave your father's country and go to a land that I will lead you to. But, but Jonah, on the other hand, was sent to do a job, a task for God. He was on a divine assignment and he chose not to go a particular direction. And as a result, he ended up, be, he ended up being swallowed by a whale. That was a crisis, was it not? And when he was swallowed by the whale, three days it took for God to spew him where he was supposed to go. So my point in telling you this is there are times when your trial is your transportation. Transportation. Your trial will get you from point A to God's divine appointment. Even though you may not know what it is, even though you may not have an ear to hear or an eye to see or a mind to understand, God still will work out his purpose if he knows that once you get it, you'll do it. So I say this to calm you down. Don't hit the panic button when changes suddenly happen in your life. When you suddenly have to move from one location to another, where an emergency arises and against all your desires, you are forced to make a move. Well, who knows if you had not made that move? Who knows if something devastating might have happened a month down the road? Who knows if your crisis, your move protected you from harm. Just like when the angels came to get Lot, to get him and his family out of Sodom and Gomorrah so that they would not suffer the devastation that judgment was going to pour down onto that city. Now, you have no idea why these different things are happening in your life, why these uh, major events are occurring events that cause you to relocate. You have no idea. But always remember this, when it looks like things are going helter-skelter in your life and it, thinks, it, it looks like you're seeing nothing but chaos, remember this, God is not the author of confusion. If you want to know the author of confusion, we know who that is. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Mr. D, the devil. But what God does is always lined up with your destiny and his purpose. So when things go like that, understand God is working something. He's either keeping you out of danger's way, moving you to safety, lining you up in position to fulfill his destiny and or calling. Or God is preparing you for a major blessing. Either way, it's all part of God's purpose. So don't you panic when things go bump and you find yourself somewhere you never intended to be. Don't panic. God knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And when things like that start happening, that's the perfect time to say, God, what are you doing in my life right now? What is this about? Please help me understand. And give me a peace, a real peace 
if it's a good thing. God bless you and be encouraged.